What to do YouTube? Obviously, this is not the typical setting that you are used to seeing me in. I'm currently on the job. I just felt like I probably wouldn't get the opportunity to record this video later today since I'm going to be going somewhere for the weekend. But received a tweet last night about a possible Miami Dolphins trading with the New York Jets for Jamal Adams. I shut that down but without even thinking about it, to be quite honest with you. But last night, well, I slept on it and I had an epiphany. Now, let's let's think about a Jamal Adams real fast. All right. Possibly Jamal Adams, possibly the best safety in the league. Um, I was under the impression that he was uh, he was on like the final year of his contract, but that is completely wrong. He has two years left on his contract. Uh, 2000, the 2020 season, he's going to be getting over nine hundred thousand dollars in the 2021 season. Excuse me, the 2020 season, he's going to be getting somewhere almost around nine hundred thousand dollars. And the 2021 season, he's going to be getting somewhere over $9 million or something like that. Now, obviously, as you know, he requested a trade yesterday. You would think that all the leverage has, has left the New York Jets. And I was, I was just sitting there like, uh, nah, not with two years left on this contract. I, it's kind of, I kind of understand the situation where why the New York Jets haven't exactly paid Jamal Adams yet, considering the fact you still have another year left to decide what you want to do. Uh, but, Due to the sense of urgency, I, I think it's a lot. I think it's a lot better to pay Jamal Adams now than to pay him next year. Like I was looking at the top paid safeties in the league right now. On average, Eddie Jackson is the highest. Is the, is the, has the highest with four, making four point fourteen point six million for the 2000, 2020 season, followed by Kevin Byer fourteen point one, and then you have Tyron Matthew with fourteen million. Now. Again, I wouldn't want to wait because you already see what you got in Jamal Adams. Like I said, possibly the best safety in the league right now. I don't think you want to pay him over sixteen million. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not particularly sure about the New York Jets cap situation, but I, what made me start thinking about the possibility of trading for Jamal Adams it made me think back to last year about the situation with Jadavion Clowney and the Houston Texans where the Houston Texans ended up trading Jadavion Clowney to the Seattle Seahawks for a couple of bag of stale chips. Like they traded him for Barcavius Mingo and and Jake and what's his name? Jacob Martin uh and a third round pick for a first oh, for a first round pick of Jadavion Clowney. Two bags of stale chips in the third rounder. Like what's a third rounder? So when I look at the look at look at the Miami Dolphins as far as what they possibly have to offer the New York Jets. When I looked at the New York Jets as far as in free agency and what they what they got in two, the 2020 draft, receiver seemed seemed to be a possibility of need. Uh, defensive back seemed like a possibility of need. Please do not crucify me for these lists of players that I bought today that are, could possibly be packaged in a trade for Jamal Adams. But yeah, Devontae Parker. I, I seriously thought about this for a second. I really don't think that's that's going to end up flying because of the fact that. I believe that Jamal, that excuse me, Devontae Parker and the head coach Adam Gaze. If those of y'all that were under a rock the last couple of years, Adam Gaze was the former Miami Dolphins head coach. Adam Gaze and Devontae Parker kind of had a falling out in Adam Gaze's final year with the Miami Dolphins. So honestly, I don't see I don't see that happening. Uh, Allen Hearns could possibly be on a trading block. Uh, Albert Wilson, remember Adam Gaze signed Albert Wilson in the 2018 free agency. Uh, Nick Needham, possibly, even though I'm not really sold on Nick Needham. Uh, Ra Raquan McMillan, he's going into into a contract year. I feel like they, the New York Jets, need a, li a, a line, a middle linebacker, a second middle linebacker. Uh, Bobby McCain, look, <laughs> Bobby McCain can bounce dogs. I would not lose no sleep with Bobby McCain. Bobby McCain for Jamal Adams, where do I sign up at? Uh, and uh, Jakeem Grant, like. I feel like they need weapons at the out, at the receiver position the most. Defensive back is definitely a priority of need when I look at the New York Jets. The way that we was able to dominate them and, and dominate their secondary last year. So I feel like defensive back is most definitely priority of need alongside with wide receiver. But I wouldn't I would not rule out that trade, to be honest with you. I would not rule out that trade. Even though it's with a divisional rival, I feel like if the if the asking price is right, 
I feel like the Miami Dolphins could possibly pull this off. But again, he has two years left on his contract. So the asking price may be a little bit higher than what we expect or expect it to be. I believe the asking price was a first round pick in a in a in a in a in a in a third, if I'm not mistaken. So the Dolphins have have the trade assets to be able to make this move happen. Again, Jamal Adams has two years left on his contract. I know he wants to get paid. Um that will poss if he was to end up getting paid, it will possibly be somewhere around what what 15 million to make him the highest paid safety. But again, like I said, I apologize for the setting that we are recording in. I won't be able to record this video uh anytime in the near future. Well, possible three next three days. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know what it is. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Great One Devore. I'm up out of here.